everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single time. Doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some NFL action, I want to invite you to join so you have access to this section right here to help you make all of your picks successfully. Okay, so it's time for the NFC and AFC Championship Games, so let's get started. The first game is the NFC Championship game, the San Francisco 49ers at the Philadelphia Eagles. The 49ers come into play having uh, defeated the Cowboys at home last week in the divisional round 19-12 in a hard-fought game, while the Eagles just pummeled the New York Giants from the get-go 38-7. The Eagles are home favorites by 2.5 points with an over-under of 46.5. You can see the odds in Philadelphia, Philadelphia's favor of 1.69 to 2.178. If you take a look at the over-under, you can see that the 49ers have been involved in games over the line in four out of their last six, while the Eagles have been involved in games under the line in the last three and four out of the last six. The score predictor has the Philadelphia Eagles by a slim margin, 25-21, with about 90% level of confidence in the prediction, though. But you see here that the 49ers are given a 55% chance of covering the spread. If we take a look at some of the hot trends here, interestingly enough, the Eagles have won 80% of favorite status in the last five, but the 49ers have covered in all of the last five games that they were uh, an underdog in. So take a look at that. Let's take a look at the power ranks indicator. On the power ranks indicator, you see that the 49ers have been on this big upward trend since they've been on this winning streak, and they're at plus 29, while Philadelphia is at plus 27. The volatility oscillators see the stability factor. Both teams have been pretty consistent. Uh, 49ers at plus 10. The Eagles are at plus 13. So they've been really consistent with regard to their favored underdog status all year. Let's take a look at any movement in the money line. You can see here that uh, the line started out Philadelphia 1.641. It is now at 1.719. Actually, not now. It's back up to 1.69. They did get to 1.719. Now it's back up to 1.69. So the Eagles are still a favorite uh, by less than a field goal. I tell you what, I think the difference in this game will be the play of Jalen Hurts and the Eagles, whether or not they can avoid turnovers. If Hurts can be Hurts and the Eagles avoid turnovers, I like them to win by a field goal. If not, it's the 49ers game. Let's take a look at the next one, the San Francisco, excuse me, San Francisco, Cincinnati Bengals at Kansas City Chiefs. In the AFC game here, notice both teams, again, are burning hot. Just a bunch of wins up here on the board. Um, Cincinnati taking down Buffalo impressively in Buffalo last week, 27-10, to 10, while the Chiefs uh, took care of the Jaguars, but it was a lot more tough of a game, 27-20. to 20. You see here the odds dead even at 1.91. It's basically a pick em game. The only reason why the Chiefs are favored at all is because they're at home, and it's only by one and a half points. But you see the Bengals are given a 56% chance of actually uh, covering that spread. If we take a look at the uh, over-under, you can see that Cincinnati has been involved in games over the line three out of the last six, and Kansas City as well in three out of the last six, but under in the last two. If you take a look at the score prediction, Cincinnati 21, Kansas City 17, with about 92% level of confidence in the prediction. And remember that, that Cincinnati has won the last three contests over um, Kansas City, so they really pretty much have their number at the moment. The Chiefs have won 100% of their games as a favorite, though, in the last five. Um, but Cincinnati has covered the spread in 100% in of their last five as an underdog. I mean, if they cover, they're either going to win or lose by a single point. So this is going to be an interesting uh, one to pick here. Let's take a look at the power ranks indicator. You see here that both teams are dead even at plus 28. This is an even matchup all the way through. Um, if you take a look at the volatility oscillator, both teams are moderately stable, not as stable as some teams, but they're pretty pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status at plus 8 for Cincinnati and plus 10 for Kansas City. Let's take a look if there's been any movement in the line. Uh, let's see. Open at 1.901, and it got to 2.1. This is the Chiefs' money line, and now it's back up to pretty much where it started at 1.909. So this is going to be a tight matchup. But, you know, Kansas City has not played well against Cincinnati. I like the Bengals again. Cincinnati has had their number. They have confidence against the Chiefs. I like Cincinnati to win this game by a field goal. 
So there you have it. Those are the AFC and NFC Championship games in the NFL. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.